Previously on Welcome to the Family. Brent and Alexa gave me something that I've wanted for a really long time. It's official here in the cold. Let's just go test drive a bunch of cars. It shows up over oh, the Oh, that is cool. I'm not a big fan of it. Look at the size <laughs> comparison. I'm gonna get a Raptor. Oh, they have booster seats in the Raptors for little people. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. I'm sure most of you probably already saw that movie, The Bucket List. So I made my own bucket list that I like to keep. One of the things on my bucket list was that I want to drive an 18-wheeler semi-truck and I want to drive a formula car. So for my birthday, my husband got me the Andretti Experience. One of my favorite parts of the experience was the closer we got to the event, the more excited she got. I got mixed emotions. I am excited and nervous at the same time. And this is definitely something that I get to cross off my bucket list after I finish today. At this point, I thought, am I really going to do this? I don't know. I started uh, getting weak at the knees. I was looking at it and it's really more intimidating in person than it is in anything that I've ever seen on television and knowing that I'm going to do that. about how to drive it before they actually let us drive it. These are open wheel, full size, any style race cars. They weigh 2,200 pounds. Every one of these cars are capable of speeds of 150 miles an hour or more. How fast you get today, 100% depends on you. If your left tire touches that inside white line in the turns here at Homestead Miami Speedway, you will crash and you will crash the car into the outside wall. You'll never be able to stop it. It's inevitable. No offense, folks, you don't have any clue what you're about to get into. We're gonna make it happen. You have to put all this equipment on. Hey, I'm so glad I did this at night instead of during the day. It must be hot as shit. Sometimes it is, uh, especially when we go to Texas. When we go to Texas, we're usually there during the summer. It's about 110 degrees when we're out there. Uh, a couple of the guys last year had their shoes melt while we were on the track. And how long do you guys do this for? Like your tour or whatever? We actually go all year. There's like two packages and Burke got me both. And so the first package is that you get to ride in the back with a professional driver. And he drives like 180 miles an hour and it's really intense got into the car the first time and I got claustrophobic it was really bad so I, I had to get out I had a panic attack and I was like no no I can't do this can't do this I can't do this that thing was choking my neck and when I got in completely I was like I can't breathe if this guy takes off and I feel like this I'm not gonna be able to breathe I'm gonna have a panic attack so I was like hold on I gotta get out of here it's gonna be uncomfortable but yet comfortable. So yeah. it's not gonna be what you're used to. So just. I felt like I was gonna pop it. It's the way it's gonna feel though. It has to be tight. It's a tight ride. Come on, you can do this. Don't say try. You're gonna do this. This is what you wanted, right? Yeah. Okay, this is it. And then, you know, I picked up my hair in a ponytail. But when you're driving 180 miles an hour and you got the engine right behind you and you have hair as long as mine, my hair kept getting stuck in the engine so I was going 180 miles like this. <laughs> moment came where I get to drive my own car. Wow. Needless to say, I got into that car and when they were putting all the equipment and the buckles and the thing and back into the coffin and now I got control and I started panicking. So I couldn't do it. I got out of the car and I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And I was looking for Bert and I was like, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't. And I found LJ and LJ was like, you can do it. And I'm like, no, I can't. You go. <laughs> I turned around and I looked at the car and I said, this is one of my dreams. And you know what? 
I'm gonna chicken out of one of my dreams. And this is what we teach for a living is to get past your fears. And I thought, you know what? What a hypocrite if I don't get in that car and try to do this. So I sucked it up and got back into the car. I'm so short, <laughs> I had to put cushions on me so that I would reach the pedal. <laughs> Finally, the push came and I'm rolling and I hit my first gear and I take off and the wind is hitting me and I finally start breathing and I'm hyperventilating and before you know it, I'm going over 100 miles an hour and I'm like, <gasps> and I start crying. <laughs> I'm the only one on the track. That was wonderful. I didn't have the danger of crashing into anybody. <laughs>